Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Persian Korma Sabzi with lamb. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I've got all my herbs in front of me here, so I'll go through that with you now. So we've got about four bunches of fresh parsley, about three bunches of coriander or cilantro, a bunch of fenugreek. Now if you can't find fenugreek, you can substitute it with dry powdered fenugreek. And just some spring onions or shallots here, just a bunch here as well. So guys, I've already washed these, so the first thing you need to do is wash these, let them dry completely, and then all we're going to do is start chopping it all up. So all we're going to do at this point is pick all the leaves, and just place them into a large bowl. Alright, so that's all done, and I've just mixed it all together. So now comes the fun part. What we need to do is chop this all up, and get it as fine as possible. Now, refrain from putting this into a food processor because it sort of liquefies it. We don't want that. We want it to have a bit of a texture to it. So we'll start with one half. And all we're doing is chopping. Alright guys, so basically you want a consistency like that. So all we're going to do is continue chopping all of this. Alright guys, so that's all our herbs chopped up there, nice and fine and mixed. So what we're going to do now is move on to our stove. So just into a pan on a low to medium heat, we're going to start by adding about 3 tablespoons of oil. Once your oil is nice and hot, we'll add our herbs straight in. And get that all out. And we'll reduce our heat to low, and all we want to do is cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now make sure you do stir this every couple of minutes. You want to distribute it evenly, and cook it evenly. Alright guys, so I'm at the 15 minute mark now, as you can see they've cooked all the way through and we've got a nice dark colour which is what we want, but most importantly there's a strong aroma coming now, which is what we want, and that's very important. So what we're going to do is turn the heat off now, and we'll move on. Alright guys, so next I'm just going to get one brown onion, and all we want to do is just chop this up finely. Okay, and we're also going to need about one and a half kilos of diced lamb. I'm just using a lamb shoulder here. And I've also got five dried Persian limes here. So let's move back over to our stove. And just into a pot, we're going to add about four to five tablespoons of oil. And we'll add our onion straight in. Just on a medium heat. Next we'll add our diced lamb. So we just want to cook this together until our onions have softened and our lamb has browned all over. Okay, so that's looking good so far. So we'll start by adding in two teaspoons of salt now. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of ground turmeric. And I like to always add in half a teaspoon of mild curry powder. Just mix that together. So at this point we're going to add in 4 cups of water and we're going to add our Persian limes in. So guys with these don't just add them in like that, what we need to do is pierce them with a fork, well, in my case I'm using a spork, and then add it in.
Now, if you can't find dried limes, don't add lemon juice yet. What we can do is add lemon juice or lime juice towards the end. If you add it now, it's going to go bitter. And what we're going to do next is add in our fried herbs. And get that all in. And we'll just mix all that through. And we just want to bring this up to the boil now. You can put a lid on if you want just to speed it up. Alright guys, so once it reaches the boil like that, we'll turn the heat all the way down. Because we want to slowly simmer this. And we'll simmer this like this for about 45 minutes. And we'll put the lid on. Alright guys, so I'm just at the 40 minute mark now. As you can see, a lot of our liquid has absorbed. Our lamb has, let's say about 70-80% to 80 cooked. And it's starting to thicken up just the way we like. Now most importantly, our lemons have softened up, so if you squeeze it, all that liquid will come out. So go ahead and do that, because we want to get all that flavour out. And what I'm going to do at this point is also add in two cups of kidney beans. Now these are canned ones, so just two 400 gram cans. If you're using dry ones, obviously you've got to soak it overnight, so this is just easier. So we'll mix that through, lid on, and we'll simmer for around another 20 to 25 minutes. Alright guys, so it's been another 20 minutes, as you can see it's thickened up very nicely, which is what we want, and the lamb is cooked all the way through, so we're ready to serve at this point. But before we serve, what we're going to do is add in one tablespoon of saffron water, and a tablespoon of lemon juice, just to kick it a bit more. We'll mix that through. And we'll turn the heat off. And let's serve. Alright, and there we have it guys. I've just served it up with some saffron rice on the side of course. And that's ready to be eaten. So variation wise, this can also be made with chicken if you don't want to make it with lamb. I've seen it also made with beef, but I mean, it'll be pretty tough, it's not the same. You can of course do it without meat as well. I hope you liked that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.